Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top favorite perfumes and scents. I would say the last two years, I have really gone into perfumes and collecting them. So I definitely have nailed down a couple of scents that I absolutely love and always will revive. So if you guys are looking for your next perfume or you want to give someone a perfume and gift it to them and you have no idea what to get, I will tell you guys my favorite ones that absolutely smell so good and are perfect for all year round honestly if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out i post videos every single week and would love for you guys to stick around so without further ado let's get into the video so i do have my phone out and i have this for app out because i do want to read you guys some of the notes of the perfumes and fragrances um just so i'm not guessing and i can really describe to you what they are so the first one that i'm going to be talking about is the chance chanel perfume um there are a couple different scents this is the pink one there's a green one and i think one other one i think it might be orange or something but from what i know i think the pink one is the most popular and as you guys can see i have used a lot of it there are two versions of this which is in most cases for fragrances that there is a toilet version and a perfume version i believe toilet just means that it's a little bit um not as strong the real like perfumes um last a little longer throughout the day but i think the toilet smells a lot better and a little bit lighter than the perfume version based on what i know i think the toilet for this one is more popular than the perfume version and it's also a little bit cheaper which is really really nice it literally smells so good it is so light and florally, and I use this all year round. I use all these all year round. That's why they're my absolute favorites, but especially this one. I will say this one is really good for the summer and springtime just because it does have those floral notes and kind of like that fresh, clean scent. It's super, super nice. It's not overpowering at all. So for anyone who likes super fresh, clean scents, that you just feel like you're like walking on a cloud and like a bed of flowers, but like in a very like subdued, good way, then this one is definitely for you i also just love the chanel packaging i think it is so so pretty i'm gonna read off what it says it says that it has citron jasmine and teakwood and like i explained it just has a fruity floral fragrance and it has notes of jasmine and smoothness of white musk. I think this is a really good starter perfume if you guys are looking to start your own perfume collection just because I feel like this would go along with everyone's preference. Like I said, it's just light and fruity and florally, but it's not anything crazy. It's just the most perfect everyday scent and the packaging is just so cute. So I am obsessed with this. Like I said, this was my first ever luxury perfume. So this is near and dear to my heart. 10 out of 10 highly recommend so the next perfume that i want to recommend to you guys that i also love is the ysl black opium perfume i think a lot of people know about this it is extremely popular and for good reason it smells so good i would describe it as kind of the opposite of the chance chanel the chance chanel the pink one it's very florally fruity and just a clean scent this is kind of on the opposite spectrum it's very very warm and vanilla-y and it kind of has that like warm spicy kind of fragrance to it all the packaging is so cute it has like these black sparkles on it and kind of like the see-through little thing so you can see your perfume inside and the tip looks like this um yeah i believe this is the biggest size my chanel one i had the medium size this is the biggest size described as warm and spicy and it has a sweet vanilla scent and it has keynotes of black coffee white flowers so if you guys are looking for a more like darker scent that has like vanilla in the background and just like those like warm spices and this one is definitely for you i love this one but this one and the chanel are kind of like on polar opposites you got like fruity and clean and kind of like a clean like scent and then this one is definitely darker bolder has like vanilla warm and like spicy scents so i highly recommend these two in your collection just because they are so different so you have those different choices 
so yeah this is the YSL black opium and it is so so good for the winter and this one is really good for summer and spring so the next two scents that I want to jump into are actually more of like a hair and body mist but I did want to show you guys this because I do know that perfumes can run pretty pricey so I definitely like to have my more affordable options that are honestly just as good so these are from Sol de Janeiro and I absolutely love these two scents so much so these are like a more of like a fragrance mist so obviously they're not like a real perfume so they won't last as long but as long as you keep spraying throughout the day it honestly does cling to your clothes really well and your hair and it smells so good so if you guys know anything about Sol de Janeiro you know they're bum bum scent and their cream are so popular and for good reason so i just have a little mini one that i like to throw in my purse or in the car and it is just smells so delicious it just smells like coconuts vanilla very very sweet and i love it and then this one is my absolute new favorite one this is the beja floor scent and it says it has keynotes of brazilian jasmine pink dragon fruit and sheer vanilla and this is definitely a fruity floral scent it smells so good i like this one better than the normal bum bum scent i just like this one a lot more like i said i like more fruity floral scents for the most part and this one just smells so so amazing and I just love spraying this because not every day you want to spray like your perfume Sometimes you just want to run out the door or go to the gym and something quick and easy like this is just really really nice to have on hand Or sometimes you want to like spray a little bit before bed just to make your clothes smell good while you're going to the bed You want to spray like a really harsh smelling perfume. So these little fragrance mists are so good So any of the scents from Sol de Janeiro, I highly recommend just go into the store, Sephora, and smell them and see what you like. But definitely wanted to show you guys these and I highly recommend them. So the second to last perfume that I wanna share with you guys is this one. This is a travel scent. I'll post a photo right here of what the original big one looks like. But I definitely wanna get the big one, but I was just looking for a nice travel sized perfume that had a little spritzer. Um, so it just goes like that. I'm not a fan of travel sized perfumes have a rollerball i feel like rollerballs literally don't do anything so it's always a big plus when travel sizes come with a little spritzer because it's just like a really really mini perfume and it really does act like a normal spritzer does so this one is the chloe naturel perfume so this is another one of those scents that smells super clean super fresh and a little bit of a floral accent in the background those are my favorite type of scents just because they're not overwhelming i just have an opportunity to smell this and i definitely recommend it it's pretty similar to the Chance Chanel one, but to me, this is more on the rosier side. So it kind of smells like roses. So if you guys like the scent of roses, then I highly recommend this one. And like I said, it's such a big bonus because it has a little spritz instead of a roller ball. I absolutely love it. This is so, so nice. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on it. So I highly recommend you guys checking this one out. So the last perfume that I wanna share with you guys is this one. This is the YSL Libre, and this is actually one of my newer scents added to my collection and for good reason it is so so pretty and it obviously smells so amazing first of all can we just take an appreciation at the packaging it has why sell the logo right here on the side so when you stand it up it looks like this but it reads kind of like sideways and it has this super super pretty gold detail and the cap is kind of like this geometric shape so First of all, the packaging is just stunning. Like I don't have any perfume that is this pretty, which is I think another big plus of why people love this YSL Libre perfume, but it also smells so good. So this one is really similar to the YSL Black Opium in that it's very much more sultry. It's a little darker. This one, in my opinion, is even a little bit more bold and dark than the Opium one. Black Opium has like notes of like vanilla and can be like a little bit more youthful. It's giving very bold, musky musky is the right word for it. it's extremely musky and it kind of borders along to like a guyage scent which is really really cool I like having options like florally options and then on the opposite scale like more deeper darker scents so definitely give this one a try and see which one you like better between the black opium and the libre and if you have the chance get both because they're both amazing on their own but i would describe this one more as like a vanilla -y background and this one definitely has like that extreme like musky type of scent so definitely love this ysl one and the packaging is so pretty this is actually the tiniest bottle 
um, and I think it's so cute and as the like the bottles get bigger um, it just looks like more stunning so that was the end of my video I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorite perfumes and scents and hopefully you guys got some inspiration from it on what you guys want to buy next or gift to someone else let me know what other videos you guys want to see subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on Instagram it'll be somewhere on the screen and always down below and I'll see you guys in the next video bye